I'm turning down the music here. It's ready to, and have a look at the clock here. Look at this, we've got a minute and 15 seconds before we go on the air. But yeah, we've had a scientist on our production team. We've had the brilliant Rebecca with us and um, it's great because she can listen to our meetings, find out how our brains work if they do work and, and also even give us a heads up when we're doing science in a good way or a bad way and so it keeps us honest. So thank you, it's been brilliant. The first day was terrifying, I had no idea what to expect really. I mean, I'd, I'd had conversations by email with these guys, but um, I didn't really know what it was going to be like. Um, really hectic, really busy. Um, definitely uh, the first thing that was impressed on me really was, was the pace at which things happened. 10 seconds. 10 Bruce. Modern romance, the best years of our lives. And I dare say he wouldn't have been able to stop himself dancing to that. Here's Jeremy. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Good afternoon. Hello, Jeremy Vine. Okay. Yes, what would you like to say? It is the Jeremy Vine Show, BBC Radio 2. The topics today, we're talking about uh, a cyclist who crashed into and killed a pedestrian. Um, and he's, uh, he's just been cleared of manslaughter, but convicted of wanton and furious driving. Um, and uh, we'll be talking about the shipping forecast uh, on its 150th birthday. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, 999 operators and some of the weird and wacky phone calls they get and what it's like to be a 999 operator. And we're going to be talking about people uh, needing to do exercise and to be active. And you're most welcome between now and 2 p.m. Uh, I'm Tim, uh, Tim Collins. I'm a producer on The Jeremy Vine Show. And uh, it's been great having Rebecca with us for, for this two weeks. She's been amazing. Not only is she a lovely person to work with, uh, but great. The stuff she's put out has been deeply impressive. It's the sort of thing you'd expect from uh, journalists, freelance journalists who come in and, and help us out. Today, the cyclist who killed the pedestrian he crashed into, we speak to her husband about how the law needs changing. We're usually taking calls fairly continuously through the, through the two hours of the show, 12 till 2. You can see how many calls are, are then waiting on the screen and you know, sometimes there aren't any other calls that everyone's sort of got one and, and we're, we're just about coping and then sometimes it sort of really stacks up and there's, there's eight lines and they can all be full at once. No, that's, that's brilliant. I've just typed up your comment. I'll send that off to my colleagues. Can I take your name, please? Rebecca, she had a um, clear academic background, which is very useful uh, on particular stories. She could bring a sort of bit of expertise, you know, if you're doing a medical story or something that she was, she was aware of. So, for instance, we were looking at as a, uh, um, a breast cancer story and you should talk about MRI and her expertise. And, and she also brings a sort of scientific rigour to other stories. Brilliant. Thank you very much for your comment. I'll try and get that read out for you because that's a really good point. I'm used to maybe uh, spending three years uh, researching a topic and then sitting down to think about which journal I might try and publish that in at the end of that three years. Um, and, uh, and I think for, for this sort of research you need to think initially about your audience and uh, certainly you know the, the Radio 2 audience is very different from my uh, academic audience that I'm used to so uh, I think yeah I've learned a lot about how to uh, how to decide which things are important to people. And are you one of the people described by health officials as taking no exercise at all not even a 10 minute walk once a month? We'd love your calls. I'm really sorry, but we're moving on from that topic now. We're going to be talking about the shipping forecast next. Rebecca, just tell us what it's been like working with Jer the Jeremy Vine. It's been amazing. It's been so fast-paced. I've learned so much. It's just been a phenomenal fortnight. Are we all, I'm worried we're all a bit crazy here? Does it... In, in a good way. <laughs> in a in good a way. Good, yeah. You have to be to get through that much material. There's just so much that needs to be covered. It's just phenomenal.